In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The God of life who broke the bonds of death and raised Jesus from the tomb and sent the gift of the Holy Spirit he is with you all. Sisters and brothers in the risen Christ, we are an Easter people, and hallelujah is our song. We come together today to encounter the Lord in word and sacrament. With joy, we renew our baptismal covenant in the Lamb who was slain. Let's now praise God for the gift of the cleansing, life-giving water. And our response will be, blessed be God. Gracious and loving God, you have created water and made it clean, refreshing, and life giving. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Lord Jesus Christ, you offered yourself on the cross in the blood and water that flowed from your side when the church was born. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Spirit of God, you inflame our heart with the love of God and neighbor. You teach us and remind us of all that Jesus taught. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Through the waters of our font, may Almighty God cleanse us of our sins, and through the Eucharist we celebrate, make us worthy to sit at His table in His heavenly kingdom. In song, now we lift our voice and give you praise to God, as the waters of new life cascade down upon us.
In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is a stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation to anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. I will lay down my life for my sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These I must also lead, and they will hear my voice, and will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the power to lay it down, and the power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. In song, we acclaim the Gospel of the Lord. that we are going to be a 
attuned to his voice, that we're going to agree to walk in his ways, to bring his good news to others. Jesus is that good shepherd. And the good news of the Gospels is that he includes everyone. He wants no sheep to be lost. But bring He wants no sheep to be lost. Then we try our best to hear the Lord Jesus calling us and helping us work through those difficulties. For you see, Jesus knows our health problems. Jesus knows our painful memories. Jesus knows our worries. Not only does he know them, but he guides us through them. You think of Psalm 23, will lead us through the dark valley to green pastures. Jesus is always at our side to reassure us, to give us courage, to let us know that we're loved. For you see, as his followers, he never gives up on us. He doesn't say, well, too bad, you're lost. I'm, I have more, no more time. No. I always see that great potential in all of us. And it's there to get us back on track when we do happen to get lost. When we do happen to give in to all the shiny things of this world. Help bring us joy in our lives. There's a story about a family house that was burning, a two story home. The father was able to get out of the home but could not get upstairs to rescue his son. As he stood outside the home, he saw his son in the window and he yelled out, Son, jump! And I'll catch you. There was all kinds of smoke and blade flames. And the son said, I can't see you, Dad. But the father said, I can see you. And that is the most important thing. Jump into my arms. Jesus invites us to jump into our arms. His arms. Especially in those times when we struggle. He is our good shepherd. Because he loves us always. And sees that each of us is uniquely created in the divine image. Jesus in reaching out and love to us. Hopes that we will respond. That will produce in our own lives. That we will bear fruit. That will let His Word move who we are. That just as Jesus lays down His life for us, we will lay down our lives for each other. One writer wrote this Spending time with a youth. As a coach, instructor, or a mentor, that's laying down your life. Visiting with a loved one or a friend who is sick, sending a text or a note or making a phone call, that's laying down your life. Volunteering, whether it's for a community ministry, Food shelf, 
That's laying down your life. Offering your time and skills and resources to support the parish, that's laying down your life. Raising your children devoutly and lovingly, that's laying down your life. Listening compassionately to someone's, someone hurting or grieving or troubled, that's laying down your life. Here we again are nourished by God's Word and Christ's body and blood. Here we're reminded how great our shepherd is. And here, moved by the Spirit, that we can continue to transform our lives. That we can continue to lay down our lives. To contribute. To make the place where we live a better place. Rooted in God's love. Loving 
God who cared so much for us, your children, that you sent your Son to us, listen to the prayers of your flock, and grant them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God and my Father. Grant, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud and be it more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the inflation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment. In reality, the cross, and by commending himself, commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in you. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Lord, be holy, O Lord, our Father of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and give you thanks, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more give you thanks, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called the Son of the Lamb. Lord.
we conclude in our prayer. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Singing so I'll so have the ushers come forward for that collection. Singing Slovenes are a group of performers who come from many ethnic backgrounds. Blessing and then a special program.
we're very pleased to have with us this evening uh, the General Consul from the Republic of uh, Slovenia. And so this time I invite Alenka Garrick to come forward uh, to address us. Many decades to come. 
Now please allow me, allow me on behalf of the government of the Republic of Slovenia to award the Church of St. Stephen the recognition and thanks for its invaluable contribution to the preservation of the Slovenian cultural and religious tradition among the Slovenian community and the preservation of the memory of the Slovenian sacral art in the United States of America. Father Vivens. Congratulations and thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 